Oh, they cut an old tire. Uh, this is a tire I took out from the car, replaced the tires. Uh, 205, 60, R14 rim, 205 is width, 60. Right, going down the line, I don't know what this means. Yeah. Um, it's a Dunlop tire, 601 anyway. More importantly, we have the plies. Right, and we have one polyester, two steel, one nylon, sidewall, one polyester. We're gonna take a look into that and see what you get. Maximum pressure 51 psi, uh, maximum load of 1279 pounds, it's not too bad. Again, the same information here 20560 R14, 89 inch, and I'll show what that is. Steel belted radius, and it says made in Japan. This is where it's sealed, sidewall has been damaged. Um, you could kind of get the pliers inside there. What I'm going to do is try to cut it across. See what it has in it. Um, uses, maybe this material here could be used for um, some kind of matting, um, any pattern, anything I need. So I'm going to keep that, but uh, I'm just going to cut it straight across. I'll start with the hacksaw. Instead of going through the, um, the angle grinder first, let me start with the hacksaw and see how far it goes, how easy it goes. I want to see what's in this. How they did this, how they made this seal, this works good. Uh, just checking out the inside there, you can see one plug here and one plug here. So this tire has been through a bit and uh, there's some pattern inside here. Um, but beyond that, I think that's just the arbitrary pattern. So let's see how the profile goes, how the thickness goes all the way around, uh, what kind of material I have in it, how they did this. Pattern review, all of here is fairly easy to cut. The problem is actually this piece of steel. This is a square type um, configuration, 5 by 5, 25 pieces of steel. This was a little challenging. It actually had to cut and just bend, bend, bend and break them, snap them also and try half swing them. This cuts very easily. In fact, the last little piece I cut with a knife. I think I'm going to try a knife going online. So the actual rubber is fairly easy to slash. I'm seeing the strands here of the um, polyester that they claim. Let me cut the whole thing up through and we'll see what we get. Alright, so now that we've cut everything, as I said before, 25 of these here. This piece is relatively thick, coming down, tapering, getting smaller, and then coming across here. Steel bands here. The bottom looks like about 105, just a rough check. The top looks like about 4 less here. Probably about four less here. I expect it to be symmetrical, even though we're not getting. It's been a bit roughed up here, so we're not getting a very good um, you know, view of it. But yeah, so I would expect about probably eight less in total. So maybe 97, 96 thereabouts, right? On average, um, let's just look. Uh, millimeters, millimeters, right? About two millimeters before the start of the wire reinforcement and that goes for one millimeter separation and then above that treads well you can't tell that's a little lower piece because it's up upper treads not useful again about two to three millimeters yeah and then at the bottom of the treads so overall thickness of this section is probably six millimeters here is um where am i getting it's actually about eight millimeters thickness here as it curves down the side wall thickness is i hope this is focusing right side wall thickness is six going down the thinnest section i'm seeing is there which is five coming back in let's see what we are the millimeters right so this section here is about 12 here is 10 and the radial part is about uh, about 10 it's not really putting that in properly the wire is about two millimeters around here and then probably about four on top so yeah not too bad it is really steel belted right there's some fine 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 little things here and I suspect that's probably nylon. This is the polyester they claim about. Polyester coming here. Interesting, it's coming around from here. Coming here, so there's two different sets and it's coming in and going below. I suspect the nylon really is on top here. 
each one of these have several little wires I didn't check maybe three four they're quite stiff um, they're quite difficult to cut look at my hacksaw now bright and shiny it's managed to clean all I mean completely all of the paint off so yeah that's really um, a bit much to cut so yeah this is the overall and this is how it looks inside and um, it's not too bad it gives me an idea of the thicknesses and what I'm working with and it's fairly easy to cut across here with maybe even a shears and be able to use this for some kind of matting or some kind of pad material vibration insulation uh, isolation anything of the sort final note look at how rough this is look at this here this is the edge it's amazing that this thing actually look at dig here right um it's amazing this thing actually is airtight this thing actually seals i mean under pressure yes it deforms and goes against the metal but it's amazing that this thing actually seals um it really is a great leap in manufacturing as opposed to a long time when you had to do tires with tubes i mean and that i that i could understand will work 